What does your mobile app know about you? It may be more than you think. Welcome to this News Hub Extra. I'm Simon Constable, and joining me is Julia Angwin to discuss the latest in the What They Know series. So mobile apps know a lot of things about us, probably more than we think. In general, what do they know, and how do they know it? Well, so the thing about apps, in case you're wondering, that's an iPhone, iPhone <laughs> on 4. the iPhone 4, um, is you, they're little pieces of software that you download onto your phone, and they're like games or fun things. And oftentimes, when you're playing one of them, you don't really feel like me that you're doing, like you're that you're browsing the web or that somebody could be watching you. Yeah. But in fact, we tested a hundred apps, including. Uh, and one extra one, the Wall Street Journal's app, to see what kind of data were they sending out while you're using them. And in fact, we found that the majority of them are sending out identifying information about you to other companies. So let's talk about some specific ones that you identify. Um, Groupon, let's start with that. It's a coupon, uh, coupon on the web company. What, what are they doing? So uh, we found that a whole bunch of different companies, including Groupon, send out your something called your phone ID. And so each phone actually has sort of like an equivalent of a serial number inside. And that serial number is basically like as if you have a stamp. And it says, like, this is a number you walk around with. It's in your pocket all the time. So it's basically like saying Julia Anguinana or Simon Constable <laughs> on the phone. But it doesn't have your name. It just has a serial yeah, number. Yeah, it's just a number. But the thing is that then the person receiving that number is like, oh, you like coupons. And then now you went and did a game with Angry Birds. And they build up this idea of who you are based mm. on the kind of things that they see. And yeah. unlike... Um, on the web, which we've written a lot about the tracking that goes yeah. on online, there are some yeah. things you can do online. You can delete the cookies that people place on your computer. You cannot delete these serial numbers, right? They are embedded in and the, your... And it's, it's, it's sort of part of having the phone yes. at all. No, no serial number, no phone, right. basically. So Group Group One does that. There's some, some other specific um, apps. Let's talk yeah. about those. Well, some of the, we're calling it leakiest apps mm -hmm. are, there was one called Text Plus Four, which is a iPhone app for texting that it sent your ID number to eight companies and your zip, age, and gender to two companies. Oh, wow. That, that, I mean, that's really getting quite narrow in, <laughs> yeah. some, in some parts of the country, right? In New York City, we have a very dense right. population here, so it's a little different. But that, that, I mean, that's pretty, and there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, yeah, that's right. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, wow. Let's talk about some of the others. Um, Grinder. What is Grinder, and uh, what are they saying? So Grinder was another one of our leakier apps, and it was uh, it's an app for meeting gay men. It's um, they sent the file, phone ID to eight companies as well, and also zip age and gender to two companies. Wow. I'm um, presumably mostly men um, on 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 that site. Pre <laughs> presumably. I didn't check. <laughs> uh, you didn't check. Pa paper toss. What what is paper toss? So paper what do they toss do? is a funny game where you pretend to throw paper into the garbage can and see if you can make the basket. Wow. <laughs> so they sent your ID number to five companies and your location to three companies. Okay. Now, do, do any of these companies have a privacy policy or privacy policy that you can throw? It's, it's, it's the old joke that we, how you pronounce it. But do they have one? Do, do any of them have one say, oh, yes, here's our privacy policy. We don't do this or right. whatever. Right. Well, the thing is, like a lot of every website, basically, that you, most that you visit will have one of those. But these apps don't, right? Mm. When you download it, sometimes there might be a terms of service. But usually you just download it and you don't see anything about privacy. No. And so, for instance, Angry Birds didn't have a privacy policy after the journal contacted them to ask them about their privacy and what data they were sending, they posted a privacy policy. Oh, so there was, in other words, they said, that's a good idea, let's do that. <laughs> they said they were already working on it. Oh, okay, okay. But they were already working, so they've got one, and that's good, right? Yeah, but uh, half of them had privacy policies. Okay, and there's a lot, lot more data in the story, and you've yes. got a big chart about which apps and what, and everyone. it's a big in-depth study in the Wall Street Journal. Yes. Thank you Check very much, Julia Angwin, leading the charge on the What They Know series. I'm Simon Constable, and this was a News Hub Extra from the Wall Street Journal Digital Network.